All right, what's going on? Today I'm gonna to be reviewing um, Trippy Red's most recent album that came out just under two weeks ago called Pegasus. It was leaked um, a few months prior, I think back in like uh, July, August, around there. Um, some of the singles were Excitement with Party Next Door, which I do like, which is definitely one of the strongest tracks on the album. Uh, it caught some attention on TikTok too, a couple months back. Um, what else was there? Um, Sleepy Hollow, I like that song, and then um, I Got You with Busta Rhymes. Both of them, uh, strong tracks. Not great out of the three of them. Excitement was the best out of those three singles, but um, last year he released a, a Love Letter to You 4, which was a great album. Another long album. This one's 26, Pegasus is, and then a Love Letter to You 4 had uh, 21 songs on it, with 29 on the deluxe. He's gonna, gonna be releasing a deluxe of this album. I think within a week or two from now um and 26 songs on this album which is a lot he does have a lot of features though but um it definitely does get um kind of boring not not too boring but like stretched out for sure um just about halfway through well probably over halfway through probably 16 17 songs in um I start to lose interest in the album because there's so many songs here. Um, but uh, first track, Let It Out, featuring Maya Line, who I've never heard of before prior to listen to this album. Um, not a bad track, good opener track. Then you have Moonlight, Love Scars 4, and The Nether. Love Scars 4 got a video um, the week this came out. Um, uh, Moonlight. Strong track, decent track, um, Love Scars 4, catchy, um, I don't know if it lives up to the name uh, that much, but um, decent track as well. The Nether, also um, decent track. The first minute of it, however, is just the beat. He doesn't come in until 58 seconds in, um, so that one could be better, but starts off good. And then you have So Stressed featuring Young LB, which... I'm not sure who he is. I'm, I've never heard of him before listening to this album. But um, he was okay. Uh, it's catchy. Not a bad track. Um, no great songs out of the first five. And then we have Excitement, which I already said I like a lot, actually. And then Mood, which is a pretty good track. Good feature by Chris Brown. He did, however, outperform Trippy, in my opinion, on this track. But um, good song overall. Then we have uh, Pegasus, the title track. Uh, where he kind of uses his voice in a different tone, which is not bad. It's okay, but um, and I just feel like um, there's so many tracks in this album where some of them are kind of throwaway tracks that he just threw on here, or just ones he recorded and didn't put a lot of effort in. Um, some tracks where I don't see a lot of effort would be Pegasus. Um, let's see, Spaceships featuring Young Thug. Young Thug was okay, but I don't I didn't see a lot of effort, effort from Trippy Red. Good morning and Two Fly, not a lot of effort. Um, and then some of the other ones I'll get to uh, soon. Then after Pegasus is um, the track We, which is actually the most popular song on the album by far. It recently charted at number eighty on Billboard, and um, this is probably one of my favorites as well. Um, definitely a good song. Um, I think it, it took off on TikTok a little bit before it even came out, but, um, good track. Um, I think that's one good, that one is going to end up being a hit and the biggest song here. And we have my favorite stretch out of the album. Well, it would start at Wii and then would go to 10, 11 and, um, 12 is okay. And then, um, 13 and then 15, never change and no honorable, honorable mention featuring uh, Never Change, featuring Future, and then No Honor Honorable Mention, featuring Lil Mosey and Quavo, both good tracks. Personal Favorite, very catchy. Rich Kid delivered a good verse. V12, very good, uh, good track. Uh, kind of like a space sound um, to that one, definitely a good one. Um, Spaceships is okay, like I said, not a lot of effort. Um, can't hear a lot of effort from Trippy on that one. Never Change, Future has a lot of the song. Uh, he did good, definitely a good feature from Future. Um, catchy, uh, he added some good melodies as well. Good Morning, 
one, one of the weakest tracks on the album. Not too too good. Um, kind of one where you can kind of just relax to and chill to, but not not a great song. Not a lot of effort on that one. Um, no honorable mention. Great song. Good feature from Quavo. Lil Mosey did not have a good verse. Uh, he kind of blends into the beat. Not not a lot of energy, but uh, Trippy had a catchy hook. I got you. Like I said, I liked that one. Uh, decent verse from Busta Rhymes. Two Fly, another one I said where there wasn't much effort shown from Trippy. Same thing with the next one, Red Beam, featuring Sean Kingston. It's just over two minutes long and Trippy doesn't come in until uh, the 32nd mark. Which in a two minute song, you, which is really only a minute and a half long, you should be rapping for more than a minute and a half on a two minute track. Then we have Oomph's Revenge Part 2. Oomph's, Re Oomph's Revenge was a song on Life's a Trip, which I did like. Uh, Life's a Trip to me is my favorite album, his best album for sure, by a mile. And that, that album had 14 tracks on it, a lot of singles. And for, for me on that one, it was definitely um, quantity or quality over quantity. This one is quantity over quality. A lot more quality on some of the shorter albums like uh, A Love Letter to You 3 and um life's a trip i'm hoping going forward with, with his albums he releases less songs 14 15 tracks at most 17 18 on them i don't want to see more of these 20 track albums though but oops revenge part two not a bad track not as good as the original one but it was okay take one uh the next one not great um it was okay he had some energy it was okay kind of Filler, Two Fly, Good Morning, the ones where there's not a lot of effort, uh, Take One, um, I feel like they're really filler, I feel like there's really, it's really easy to put in a lot of filler tracks on a 26 track album, um, Sleepy Hollow, Light Energy, good track, um, for sure, I like that one, that was a single, that one was good, Kid That Did, now, um, this one's kind of an in your face, um, kind of energetic track, Dark, for sure, um, Featuring Doughboy and Future. Future's second feature on the album. Uh, Future's verse. If you haven't heard this track, it's not good because it sounds like it was recorded through uh, a, Mc a McDonald's drive through microphone. Um, and then Doughboy was okay. I'm not a big fan of Doughboy. But um, that one was okay. The Future verse kind of ruins the whole song for me. Don, uh, surprisingly, was actually a pretty good track. Um, a lot of energy. Catchy. I like that one. Good sound there. Hell Rain was okay, and at this point in the album, it really seems dragged out with so many tracks on the album. It, it feels like it was forever ago where you were starting at listening to uh, Let It Out, Moonlight, Love Scars 4. And then uh, TR666 is okay, featuring Sway Lee. Like I said, it feels dragged out at this point, but it's not a bad track. Sun God featuring my uh, Lin Linne, I think. Uh, that one's alright. Um, not a bad closer to the album though. Uh, but um, my favorite tracks would definitely be uh, Don, Sleepy Hollow. They're good tracks for sure. Um, Excitement, personal favorite, great track. We, V12, Never Change, and No Honorable Mention are all pretty good tracks as well. And then Mood, uh, and I Got You. He definitely could have taken off many tracks here. Like The Nether, um... He didn't need Pegasus, the title track. Good Morning, Two Fly, Red Beam, Take One, Kid That Did, and Hell Rain. That's eight right there. If you take off those eight, you have an 18-track album with some pretty good songs. So the main issue, obviously, is too many tracks. But um, definitely not his best work. There's better albums, like I said, like Life's a Trip, or Love Letter 2, 3, and 4 are, are my favorite albums by him. Um... I feel like even with five less, uh, five less tracks, um, like on the album last year, I love Letter to You Four, I feel like it did make a big difference. Even have five, even having five less tracks. But um, yeah, I would probably give this a uh, probably the same as um, Nav's album. Uh, I, I got a review for Nav coming soon. Um, Six point five or seven out of ten. Not a bad album. Like I said, too stretched out. A lot of filler, but definitely some good tracks. Thank you for watching. Make sure to enter the giveaway that I have going. Um, that's going to be closing, ending on um, Monday, November 16th. 
but make sure to enter that. Three easy things to do. Um, more music content coming soon, more album reviews. I have an av um, album review for Emergency Tsunami coming soon. And then uh, just drop a like, comment, subscribe, share the video. It'll be much appreciated. Thank you for watching.